of course, as if you watched my previous interview with Leah at the um, ABN Awards, you'll know that like the first time I kind of was introduced to you was through Mike when he told that story about the slave that yeah. you brought to set. Do you want to just quickly rehash that story super fast for those who have not heard it? Because okay. it's such well, a good story. I had a long term live in slave for a while, um, a real life, like real time not just like over the internet, though mm -hmm. I do have slaves over the internet as well. Mm -hmm. um, and like it did a lot of things for me. Like it, like it bought me a house. It bought me like all the shit that I wanted, all the Harley Quinn shit, all the cosplay shit. Like basically whatever I wanted, I got. Um, so I went, I brought it with me to go do this gangbang orgy thing and I was like okay after I was like covered in cum and I was like hey slave come here and lick the cum off of me this is your treat <laughs> and it was so happy and I was just like this is hilarious like it's empowering yeah but hilarious like, yeah it just it gives me joy to have that much control over someone well and clearly it gave that person joy as well yes it did so. and until they got real creepy and mm. then i was like nope bye so you had to end things with that slave yeah because like it kept wanting more and i'm mm. like look dude like i told you from the beginning there's nothing gonna happen like nothing sexual i'm not gonna fucking marry you mm -hmm. i'm not gonna date you i won't even pretend that i am mm-hmm so, so those I rules were set out yes. for from it. For I know, I've noticed yes, the pronoun for for it, it, not him. It. Yeah. Um. And at some point, he just couldn't. Like he kept pushing the the boundaries. Yeah, and I was just like, "This is too much. I'm out." Right. So, how do your slaves like function these days? Like, what you said, you have internet slaves. Do you have yes. in person slaves? Currently? I mean, I have some, but I haven't seen more than a couple since the pandemic. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to get the coronas and die. Yeah. So I'm just now like opening up again for real time sessions. And like, I was so busy with school too. Yeah. Um, but usually, like, over like the internet, we'll do Skype or just chat. Mm -hmm. it, really depends on the sub or the slave right some of them like to be called like different things and mm -hmm. so it's like a very tailored unique experience right yes depending on who it is yeah it's not like cookie cutter for everyone right what is um like what are some examples like what is like what would be one person's preferences there's a lot of guys out there that are like, call me a loser, like make fun of my dick, all this, like all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And then there's some guys where they're like, don't call me loser. Don't make fun of me. I just want to give you money and tell you how awesome you are. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on, on the person. Some of them like to eat other guys come. <laughs> okay, so then are we are we trans are we transitioning into like the cuckolding realm? Yes. Okay. Like a lot of them like to watch mm -hmm. me have sex if I'm having sex, which I'm not right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, outside of work, I'm not having sex, but right. um, they do when I do have sex outside of work, like when I'm in a relationship or whatever. Mm -hmm. They like to watch. And I charge them a pretty penny mm -hmm. <laughs> and they sit there and they watch and I just basically do what I do and that's talk shit. Mm -hmm. And then um, afterwards, some of them will eat the other guys come, sometimes not, just depends yeah, on. It, it depends. It also depends on a guy, mm -hmm. on the guy, because like a lot of, some guys are not very like comfortable with another guy eating mm -hmm. their cum. Right. Yes, that that would make a lot of sense. Totally. Yeah. Um, does have like when you have active slaves, does that ever like what's your dating life like? Like, is that ever tricky for you? Oh, <laughs> man, um, I would say I don't 
right now I don't have a dating life. I got out of a four year extremely abusive relationship. So I'm not like out there looking for anyone. Mm-hmm. Like, cause yeah, I still got some healing to do. Yeah. Like, cause that was a lot. Yeah. Um, but when I was in the relationship, like he wouldn't, like he wouldn't believe me that these were just like submissives. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you're fucking them. You're doing this. You're no. Like, you of all people should know. I'm not fucking a submissive. Mm-hmm. Like, was he also in the industry? He was. Okay. Hopefully, he's he stays away though. Right. But you're saying like he he was somebody who worked in the industry, understood how like different, you know, work. We actually met on the set of a 10 man gangbang. So no excuse. (laughs) Legit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that I feel like he he knew who you were and and what you were about from the start. So. Yep. And yeah. I was straight up. I was like, look, this is what I do for a living. But like, this is me in real life. I'm chill. I'm cool. Like, I would like a partner mm-hmm. and a husband. And these are all my goals. And he was like, okay, okay. But then like, everything went to shit. And- yeah. Once you're ready to start dating again, what do you think you would be you would look for in a guy? Um, well, obviously he has to be black, (laughs) um, long hair, um, like skinny to medium. Mm -hmm. Um, he's probably going to end up being a crip because like I attract crips. I don't know why, but I do. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, he doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying historically speaking. You have a type. I have a type. Yeah. And... My type has me, mm-hmm. I guess, because like, like I attract these guys, and I'm like, that's, I don't, I don't know how, like, yeah, because I'm just like I'm, I'm nerdy lady over here, like I don't know what it is about, about me that gangbangers love, but they do, <laughs> <laughs> and so well, I feel like, I mean, look, you're super hot, so I feel like probably. Most guys would be into you, but maybe you're just more receptive to the guys that fit that type. And so that's like, you know, so it kind of makes sense that you guys come together. Like someone who you're not into, like you wouldn't give those vibes of like, oh, I could be interested in you. So then like they never really venture further. Because I could see also too that you could be like super intimidating. Oh, I walk around everywhere. Like I got my mean mug on because I'm like, I don't want creepers coming up to me yeah but like if i see someone that's cute like i've just like it's hard to describe but a very specific type in like if it fits in within that range and i see the guy i'll be like like kind of smile or something but i probably won't go up to them and say hi because i'm really fucking shy really surprisingly yes so if you see a guy that out in public that you might be interested in he's got to approach you Yes, absolutely. fucking because, mm-hmm. like, number one, I'm not chasing these dudes. Number two, I'm just, I'm kind of an introvert. Mm-hmm. Even though, like, when I'm on camera or whatever, obviously I'm not yeah. introverted. But, like, I'm, I can be extroverted in comfortable spaces. 